In this video, I'm going to talk about how to travel fast and how to travel slow and the, the pros and cons versus both. So when you're traveling the world or when you're traveling your home country or wherever you're going, there's a big difference between having, say, two weeks to travel and two months to travel. If you can travel for two months, say you are in college or if you are you know, taking a break from work and you can travel long term, I definitely recommend traveling a lot longer versus shorter. One, it's cheaper. Two, you can see more. And three, it's just, it's just a lot more fun. It takes a week or two to kind of relax and get away from that kind of work or study mentality and get into the travel mentality and just like going with the flow, going seeing new places and exploring and seeing the sights. So if you travel for two weeks, super awesome. I totally recommend it. Um, though you won't be able to see as much if you're flying to a new country and say you're, it's a thousand dollars to fly there and back, that thousand dollars goes divided into the, the adds up to those two weeks of travel. So say you spend a thousand dollars traveling for those two weeks and a thousand dollars for your flights, I mean that's two thousand dollars for two weeks, but say you go to Eastern Europe, South America, Central America, Southeast Asia, and you go for um, two months, and you travel your flight there and back is a thousand dollars, and say you spend five hundred dollars a month, a month in Southeast Asia traveling, because you're traveling slower, it's not as expensive, you're not flying you know a bunch between places, you will spend uh, you know a lot less, and so for the same price you can travel for longer, you can see more, you can be more relaxed, you don't feel like you have to be rushed to see all the sights. And oftentimes I contradict myself when it comes to this. I do travel kind of fast, even if I have a few months, I might spend a few days or a week in one country and then hop to the next. But my goals are kind of different than most travelers. I'm trying, you know, for the first, you know, the next four years of traveling, seeing every country in the world. And then my second bout, I'm gonna go to every country in the world. Um, I'm going to spend more time, so maybe a month or six months in different countries, you know, slowly going to see the culture, kind of getting into it, getting a community, and then hopping to the next place. So I'm kind of trying to taste test before I, you know, get a whole scoop of ice cream or something. Um, so that's, that's kind of like traveling fast versus traveling slow. I definitely recommend, you know, if you only have the time to travel fast, you know, at least start doing that and then as you get, you know, more momentum and more, um, you kind of brainstorm, oh, how can I maybe work as I travel or how can I take off more time or places that you want to see, you can kind of line them up with others, how you can do that. Um, and it's just a, um, it's just a learning process that you kind of figure out and each person's different, each person travels differently. Some people really like to take their time and they want to be in a country for a year or two years and then some people like to be like, okay, you know, I'm gonna to go to this country for, you know, two weeks or a few days, and then I'm gonna to go to the next. You know, it just depends on who it is and what you're trying to do, and there's just a lot that goes into it. But um, there's a lot of pros depending on how you like to travel for traveling fast, and there's a lot of cons and pros for traveling slow. So both have pros and cons, but uh, I definitely recommend doing either or. But if you have more time, obviously travel slow, it saves money, you can see more, and it's just a lot more relaxed way, way to travel. If you guys like this video, um, please like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos about traveling. Um, I'm gonna be doing some more vlogs and whatnot pretty soon, and yeah, peace out, take care guys.